Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 11 computer where Windows is showing the Ethernet icon instead of Wi-Fi down your system tray. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select on the left side where it says network and internet. And go ahead and left click on that. And then on the right side, if you see a Wi-Fi option, you want to go ahead and select that. And then you want to turn it on. So again, if you only have Ethernet, then that means it's only going to be an Ethernet connection, of course. But if you have an option for Wi-Fi as well, you would go ahead and select that and then toggle it to the on position. Another thing we could attempt and where it says find a setting, type in troubleshoot and go ahead and search for that. Select Troubleshoot Settings on the right side. And then underneath Options, select Other Troubleshooters. And you want to select underneath Other, go down to Network Adapter, and then run that troubleshooter. And then again, you want to go ahead and follow along with the prompts here. So if it's a Wi-Fi based connection, you want to select that. I'm going to select All Network Adapters, and then I'm going to select Next. And then hopefully, again, if you're able to follow along with the on-screen prompts, that you should be able to get your Wi-Fi back up and running. And that should hopefully be about it. Something else you can try here as well. If you have a Wi-Fi switch on your computer, make sure it's turned on. So if you have a little custom switch, perhaps, on your device, you might be able to turn Wi-Fi on or off. You want to go ahead and toggle that. Also, make sure that airplane mode is turned off. So if you go back to network and internet, Airplane mode, make sure that's turned off here. And if you're still having issues, you can reset your network settings back to default. So you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby once your computer restarts. But regardless, go underneath Advanced Network Settings. And then underneath More Settings, select Network Reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. So this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select Reset Now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now go ahead and close out of everything and then restart your computer. And then hopefully I should have been able to resolve the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.